Hey, Don Copeland here, and today we decided we wanted to uh, show you some of the ways that highlight some of the things you can do with the 661 from Muto. This is a, these are just these little triangular highlighters here, and so we had a bunch of them sitting around, and we actually had a jig that had been made for these. We wanted to show you a little bit about the different way of setting something up, different than most of the jigging systems we do, actually. Most of the jigging systems, you think of the items next to each other, side by side. With these, we actually, if you can zoom in here a little bit, Hannah, you'll actually be able to see these actually interlace a little bit, so we get a lot more. There's actually 32 of these are gonna be on the bed. We'll show you in a minute here what we did with the software to set them all up, but we're gonna go ahead and finish loading these up, and we'll go ahead and print them out here on the Muto 661. We're gonna show you right here what we did now to set these up to print out on the, the printer. And we actually had this graphic file, which was the file that was used to cut out by laser, the actual jig itself. So we brought that in and set that up, aligned it up properly so that it fits in the right place on the bed, which is a relatively straightforward process. And now what we need to do is make sure that we put our graphics in each one of these. However, because it's not exactly the same on each one of these layers, right? We have one pointing up and one pointing down. So it's not like we can exactly place these all the way across the same on each of these. So we have to create a pair that we're gonna set up to do the filling of this. So that's what I've actually already done here. And this, down here, I've created, I copied out two of the rec the triangles, and then I dropped our, our logo into them and positioned them as we want them. Because we don't want to center these up. If you will see, if I go in here and I ungroup this and center these up, all right, I've got this logo. If I were to center it to this triangle, you see, that doesn't look right. It, it is mathematically centered on that triangle. However, it's not optically centered the way we want it. So what we did is we actually set it up so that they were a little bit lower, because actually the, the logo we set up itself is a triangle, so we set it up that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Go ahead and group these back together and then show you what we did in order to give ourselves the net result we have of filling all of this up. Now, given this is a separate layer, so we don't have to worry about anything screwing up here. I want to take these two images, right, these two items, group these together, and I want to take these and I want to center them up to these. So now those two are sitting right on top of those two. And we went in, we did some math based on the, the file that we were given for the setup and we're going to set up an array and we these are the numbers we came up with we want to populate these on down we did we need three pairs going down and three going across so we're going to go two three one two three there we go we've now populated it and when we finish this up we've ungrouped everything now what we have is these are the files that we want to print. These are all lined up exactly where we want them to go. I'm going to go ahead and send those over to the RIP right here. I'm just printing this layer. You see it's the only layer that we're looking at. So I'm just printing this layer, printing it to the 661 color mode only, because these are white, there's no need to print white ink. Go ahead and send those across. They're going to show up here in the color only queue in the compress rip. I want to select them and I want to process them just to see how much they cost. Remember there are 32 of these here. So just gonna process these out so that when we send over, even though we have all that other artwork set up inside of our graphics file, we're only sending this specific part. The other stuff was just set up there for orientation and alignment of the item onto the bed of the printer. Just about done processing. 15.97 cents. Let's just go ahead and select that and send it over to the printer. So this is one of the cool features of the Muto 6661 is when you hit this load button, it's actually going to take it back and it's going to set the height itself with a laser system. You see it brings the bed up and it's going to advance and whenever that light gets tripped, it's going to lower and lower and lower until it's no longer going to be something that would be in the way of the print head. Plus, while it's loading now, I'm going to watch and make sure that I got all these loaded pretty much the same. Every once in a while, you might see a little tick down, but I've not seen anything major happening, so that means that we pretty much have got this set up at the ideal height and all the pieces laid in there nicely. There's 32 of these on the bed. The ink cost, as I just showed you in the software, 
was under 16 cents. There's only a half a penny worth of ink on each one of these, these highlighters to embellish them. There's 32 of them in here. See how long it takes us to print them. All right, there we go. Finished printing. Let's take a look at them. They look pretty good. 32 of them printed them. We said they were 16 cents total, so half a penny worth of ink on each one of these. So virtually no cost in the ink when you start to do the math there. And um, look over here on our screen. Print time was 14 minutes and 23 seconds. So you could almost print four beds of these in an hour. So let's just say conservatively, at least you can print 100 of them an hour at half a cent each worth of ink. So you use 50 cents worth of ink to print 100 of them in an hour. And even if you conservatively only made $2 a piece on them, you're going to be able to produce $200 an hour worth of profit. Well, I'll take that back to 50 cents. So $199.50 worth of profit in an hour printing out these highlighters using the Muto 661. All right, there we, there we go. We're going to call this a wrap. We're going to call it a highlight film. We got our highlighters printed out, 32 of them at one time on the bed, like a great profit center, great way to take and, and add on to your customers. It's a nice, a nice uh, ad specialty that you can offer to your customers. So until we come back to next time, Don Copeland with the Muto 661 UF.